Hey, it's Jeremiah, and right now we're going to learn about the civil rights movement for kids. And today we're talking about a historic case in the U.S. Supreme Court called Brown v. Board of Education. Getting a good education is very important, and people travel to attend school here in the United States of America from around the world. From elementary schools to universities, you will see a diverse group of people from different nationalities filling up classrooms. But it wasn't always like that here in the United States. Actually, up until 1954, classrooms were quite different than they are today, not allowing African American students to attend school with white students there too. Now, I don't know about you, but that definitely doesn't sound fair to me. But this was allowed because of a previous court case in 1896 that said segregation was okay, which meant that schools could keep white and African American students separate. Now, there is an organization that still exists today called the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP. This organization started to fight back with small efforts in the 1930s by fighting in courts around the countries that allowed segregation in school districts. Having success on a local and state level, they took their fight one step higher. The NAACP stood up to fight this unfair treatment in the highest court of the land, the United States Supreme Court. They had their counsel, Thurgood Marshall, argue the case in front of the Supreme Court to stop laws that made African Americans have to be separate in classrooms from white students. A fun fact about Thurgood Marshall is later he became the first African American Supreme Court Justice on the United States Supreme Court in U.S. history. That is when on May 17, 1954, the Supreme Court handed down its decision to strike down segregation in schools. With their decision, this forced schools who kept African Americans separate from whites to allow integration. What integration means is they had to make a way to integrate, meaning to bring African Americans back into the same classrooms mixed together with white students. The Supreme Court also helped by making rules to make sure that this got done because a lot of times when laws got passed, people took their time because they wanted to keep things the way they were in the past. Later on, after the Supreme Court made these laws and gave guidelines, it changed the classroom environment that we are seeing today. And now you see integrated classrooms with all ethnicities being allowed in schools today. Well, that was all for me on a quick lesson with Brown versus the Board of Education and Civil Rights History for Kids.